Olivia. I'm the owner of Unbaked a Comedo Bar and welcome to the very first episode of Let's Do It. So what is going to be on this awesome little weekly show? I will be teaching you how to do some awesome cookie dough recipes. They'll be quick, they'll be simple, and you'll be able to make them right at home. And all these recipes ahead are going to be found in my upcoming cookbook, The Edible Cookie Dough Cookbook. It comes out in September or you can already pre-order it on Amazon. Okay, let's get down to business. What are we gonna make on this first show? Well, I thought there would be nothing better than to do our signature cookie dough sammies for the show. Now, what is a cookie dough sammy? It is two chocolate chip cookies with cookie dough in the middle. I mean, does that just not sound heavenly? I think so. Anyways, a lot of people asked me where Sammy's come from, and it's actually kind of a funny story. I don't know if any of you fine folks have seen uh, the Lizzie McGuire movie, but if you have not, you definitely should because it's funny, and even as an adult, it's funny. Um, but there's a character in it called the Ungermeyer, and at the end of the movie when she sees some sandwiches, she goes, ooh, Sammy's, and that's how it was written, that's how it came about because that was my favorite part of the movie and I call all kind of sandwiches these days sandwiches. So, hence the cookie dough sandwiches. So, what will we need to make these awesome little buggers? Not much. You'll need some chocolate chip cookies, some cookie dough, and I mean, if you want to just make a base flavor of this, that's all you're going to need. But if you want to jazz it up a little bit, you can get a topping and some chocolate. So, I'm going to do like the full out Ba boom Sammy today. The works um, because I think it's better that way but you can always just use the simple version which is literally just cookies and some cookie dough. So let's get started. Take a cookie. And you can really use any flavored cookie that you like and you can use any flavored cookie dough that you like. Today I have just some classic chocolate chip cookies and some peanut butter cookie dough because peanut butter dough is my favorite. If you've never tried it, definitely try it. I like it so much because it's not overly sweet and it's just super creamy and a really strong peanut butter flavor. So it's to die for. So take a nice scoop of your dough, scoop it right on top like so and press another cookie right on top oh my goodness and there you have it that's the base that's the base model but if you want some upgrades then i'm going to dip mine in sprinkles and you can use any toppings that's that is small enough that will adhere to the side of the dough i love sprinkles as you will find out in these episodes that i'm a sprinkle fanatic i put sprinkles on anything i do mean anything like not just desserts but normal food also slightly addicted anyways so just dip this baby right on into the sprinkles oh my goodness is that not so pretty i just think sprinkles are so pretty I mean, they really are. How do you, like, how can someone not like sprinkles? I mean, if someone doesn't like sprinkles, I think maybe got screw loose or something. Okay, so you can also stop at this point in time, but I'm gonna take it even further and get the top notch model of this cookie or Sammy and dip it in some melted milk chocolate. And again, you can use any type of chocolate you like. So really all these, what you'll find in all of these recipes that I do on this show is that they're all really, you know, interchangeable. Do what you like. So if you want a peanut butter cookie with chocolate chip dough, go for it. If you want cake batter dough and a sugar cookie, go for it. If you want chocolate chips as your topping instead of sprinkles, go for it. If you want white chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever, go for it. You really can't go wrong. It's just your preference. So I like milk chocolate the best, so I'm going to dip this bad boy right on in here. And I'm just dipping half of it. It looks pretty, I think. Let the excess kind of drip off. There we go. Oh my. Ooh, is that not the most amazing thing that's ever been made? I think it is. When you're done, just set it back on to the baking sheet um, that I have one lined with parchment paper. Make sure it's lined um, so that the chocolate can dry properly and it won't stick to anything. So let them cool for probably like 30 minutes until they are completely set or else they'll have a really big mess. To speed up the process, you can pop them in the fridge or freezer and it'll speed up the process of the chocolate drying. Um, but so that's really all there is. I mean, 
mean, is that not so simple? Um, I mean, it's just, it's just pretty and it's fun and it's delicious. So I'm gonna finish up these and then I'll be right back. Okay, now that these babies are all nice and cool, they are ready to be enjoyed. And so I'm gonna try one because I mean, I don't know if you're gonna force me to, so I as well. I feel like there's something on my face. I apologize. I don't really care if it's so good. Mm. The peanut butter dough, like I said, is super rich and creamy. And then the crunch of the cookie and that velvetiness of the chocolate. Delicious. It really is so yummy. And that is literally all it takes to make this amazing and delicious cookie dough sammy recipe that is sure to impress all of your friends. Um, this recipe, so that includes the chocolate chip cookie, the peanut butter cookie dough, and the beautiful chocolate is all in the edible cookie dough cookbook. So everything you need to make this recipe will be in there. Again, it comes out in September or you can already pre-order it on Amazon for only $13.50. Um, Thank you so much for watching this first episode. I'm sure it's not going to be super amazing, but I promise I will get more of a hang of it as I continue. Um, please leave any suggestions or comments down below. I feel like a, I feel like a professional YouTuber because I think they do this. <laughs> or subscribe above. I think they do that too. Um, anyways, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next week. So long, Capito fans. Thank you.